Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Scrap Mechanic. Today, we are back in the Hot Wheels mini-series. Now, this is something that we did probably about a half a year ago, and it just kind of stopped it because we moved on to other projects. But, I kind of want to bring this back for a couple episodes because I've had some ideas for Hot Wheels related items here in Scrap Mechanic. So, we're going to be doing that here today. We also have a new vehicle which is kind of a rebuild of one of the first Hot Wheels that we did in the series. So we'll be checking that out. We'll be doing some jumps, going to be doing a little bit of a, we'll call it racing here. I'm actually going to show you guys what I'm thinking of for a course here with Hot Wheels tracks. So yeah, we're going to be doing that here today. If you're excited for the return of the Hot Wheels series, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. And if you have any suggestions for the series, whether it be cars or even track pieces, let me know down in the comments below, but anyways, let's jump right into this. Alright, so here we are. This is the Mega Ramp. This was the uh, first episode of the Hot Wheels series. Uh, this was right around the time when the Pistons came out, because we had this pretty awesome little piston elevator here that you could take your Hot Wheels to the top of the ramp, and then you can go down the Mega Ramp here. So yeah, the Mega Ramp was the first episode. You go all the way down, and there's the, uh, the ramps actually, or I guess we can call it the jump is actually at the end. But, you can see we've added some things. We've got a new ramp. You can see there's a bridge that goes across the terrain there. And there's a ramp down here. So what I've done, uh, we've actually built like a temporary, uh, we'll call it a temporary track for now. Because we're probably going to make some changes to it. Uh, we've built another test ramp. Now I figured out that the, uh, the mega ramp was kind of hard to go down. Uh, sometimes with some of the Hot Wheels because it would jump around a lot. I guess it's because of the incline or decline. Uh, but yeah, I think this is probably the better option here. Uh, this is the straight ramp that has the same, it's the same kicker, the same jump as the mega ramp itself, but it's set a little higher off the ground and you can get some mega air here. And it also does have a little landing ramp down there that I built. So what I'm thinking, uh, we're going to have some stunts. We're going to have some car games that I want to build. And when I say car games, stuff like high jump competitions, uh, just stuff like that, uh, kind of like the old, uh, Flat Out games had a bunch of car games. I even think Beam and G has them too. So I think we're going to do that, plus we're going to have a pretty awesome Hot Wheels race course. But yeah, let's go ahead, we're going to jump over to the cars real quick, and then we're going to go for a bit of a test drive here. Alright, here we go, we've got our Hot Wheels all lined up here. Uh, this is the, uh, the last episode was these two vehicles here. It was Bone Shaker and Off Duty. Uh, both of these actually came out really, really good. I do think I can improve on the Bone Shaker's uh, little skull face here with some of the recent mod parts that have been released. But you've got those two. The first episode was all about Twin Mill, and what you've got two versions of it here. You've got the, I would call this the normal version over here, and then you have the stunt version over here, which has extra thrusters to try to do some uh, sick flips and stuff like that. But uh, <laughs> I'm not really good at doing stuff like that. But still, uh, this creation was pretty cool. Now, I've been working on a new one, and you're going to notice, here it is, this is Twin Mill 3. Now, the first thing you're probably going to notice is the whole fact that it's setting off the ground quite a bit more. Uh, that is on purpose. This thing handles a lot better than Twin Mill 1. <laughs> My Twin Mill 1 was, uh, we'll call it a, a bit messy. It was a bit floaty, and it just didn't feel 100% uh, the way I wanted it to, so this is Twin Mill version 3. Now this one's got a, a little bit beefier suspension package, plus it's got some heavier blocks on the bottom to try to keep that uh, the weight a little bit lower. So it does handle great, it does have some differences from the first one. Uh, the first one had kind of like a custom engine in there that I built out of chrome pieces, and this one over here is actually using the, uh, the Lord Payne engine parts. Now other differences is the whole fact of, and I might need a, a Hot Wheels expert to answer this, I noticed on Twin Mill, uh, the third one, a lot of them, if not most of them, did not have headlights. Now, that's not to say that the headlights weren't tucked away in the body. Uh, that very well may be the case, but I didn't see any, so I had to rip the headlights out. Uh, it's a little bit different shape in the front end. It's a little smoother, not quite as many uh, little slanted pieces. Plus, the way the engine's set in here, there's this bar in between, so we've changed that up. Uh, we've changed the side up, we've add, added the chrome down to the bottom, and we've straightened off a lot of the angles back here and made this little cutout uh, for the actual exhaust here. And then of course the back, we've changed a little bit up back here, 
uh, with some more sharper angles. Uh, same with the roof. It's not like a bubble roof like the other one. So we have made some visual changes, but mostly it's handling changes. So let's go ahead and hop into here. Uh, we're going to take this out for a bit of a test drive. I want to show you guys uh, the temporary course we have set up. And then we're going to do some jumping here. So let's uh, do this. Okay, so where we are here, we're actually on a, it's, I'm going to call it a temporary race course. I've got some ideas for this, and this is where I'm going to need some feedback from you guys. But this would be right around the start here. Uh, we go down, I'm using this terrain tile, which is absolutely fantastic for race courses. And I built in this ramp here. Now this ramp is really to get over the stupid logs down here. And as you can see, all those logs are so annoying. <laughs> you will high center on all those. So yeah, you're gonna go straight up here. Uh, there is a bridge and we passed under it there. We're gonna actually go over it here in a second. So you go around here, you can use this natural turn. I'm probably not gonna place any parts down here because this is gonna be a mix of hot wheel pieces and terrain. So yeah, you have the option to take the jump or you can go over the bumps over here. These are actually kind of challenging to get over in some of the hot wheels. So the, the jump might actually be, be the better option. But yeah, uh, you're going to cruise up here. Now, I would like to make the track completely out of Hot Wheels pieces, but the turns are going to be an absolute pain to do. So that's why I'm a little bit on the, I don't know, I'm, I'm a bit on the confused side. That's why I think that I might need to add the terrain in, in order to have the turns. So you're going to shoot around here. We'll probably barrier this off on the inside. And then you're going to go up this little natural ramp here. Now this is normally where you would take a right up here, and this is where we've added the big Hot Wheels bridge. So we go up here, you can see where I've coned off the right side, and you can see where we are in comparison to the mega ramp. Uh, you're going to go across the bridge, which is pretty easy to hop up on, and then there is another jump here on the other end. Now you got to be careful about this jump, because there is a tree. Uh, yeah, that's probably good about right there. You don't want to hit that right side tree. So you hop down here and then you land, and this is where I've kind of stopped. I've made it go out, let's go and hop out real quick. I've made it go to the right to get around to the mega ramp again, but we might add some more track pieces around here somewhere. I'll go ahead and give you guys one more view of this ramp over here. <laughs> this is a tricky ramp. If you nail that tree, uh, you're in trouble. Uh, I'm thinking we might be able to use this eventually for multiplayer. That's why we're kind of setting this up kind of like a, a multiplayer Monday course because you'll notice all the uh, the barriers and stuff that I'm adding. But yeah, uh, I don't know if we're going to go straight to the right or maybe we'll cut back to the left. But just wanted to show you guys that jump and bridge real quick. So yeah, you're going to cruise around this way. This is all using this uh, natural road or path here. And it's going to swing you around this little bump over here. i got to be careful not to hit those cones. Those cones are actually kind of deadly. Maybe I should move to barrels. I'm not sure. Maybe that's why we use barrels in uh, multiplayer Monday. Uh, maybe these are easier to get stuck on. So yeah, you cruise around and then you're automatically back around to the start finish line. Now, we might, instead of curving around since it's a fairly short track, we might go straight and then try to maybe put some more Hot Wheels pieces in. I would like to do a, an actual loop, so maybe we can get that in here eventually. I'm going to go ahead and hit this one more time. Whoop, uh oh, oh, don't want to get off course here. This was kind of an awkward ramp to put in because it doesn't exactly match up with the terrain. And oh, that's bad. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to launch off the right side of the ramp there. Oh, and we're stuck. So, oh, we are really stuck. We're going to be stuck in the back of this thing because Scrap Mechanic likes to eject people in weird places. All right, so we're back on the track here. Now, if you're probably asking yourself, well, what do the other buttons on the Twin Mill do? Uh, the first button is the opening of the hatch. The second button is actually an upwards thrust. That way you can control yourself in air. And the third button's a backwards. So say if you're, uh, I don't know, maybe the nose is pointing up too much, you can make the back end come around. And the four is an extra boost. You're really going to only want to use that boost on the, uh, the ramps because it's probably not necessary when you're just driving around. So speaking of the ramps, we're actually going to go over there and uh, we're going to do the new ramp. We might actually do the old mega ramp too to see if we can get some uh, better distance than we used to be able to in this new twin mill. So uh, let's head over there real quick. Okay, here we are. We're back at the mega ramp. Let's go ahead and use the elevator to get up here. There we go. It's going to bounce around. There we go. Ah, the pistons aren't as smooth as I remember them being. Huh. Anyways, let's go ahead and pop back into this. Now, uh, this does... Uh, is this ramp slanted over? No, it seems like it's okay now. Sometimes this thing does get a little crooked uh, because the bearings, I guess, they're under a bunch of stress because of this big piece. 
So yeah, that's going to be our mega ramp jump. Uh, we'll probably hit the other one here in just a second. Let's go ahead and hop in here. Oh boy, it's been a while. Now, if I recall, this isn't the smoothest ramp compared to the new one that I have. So let's just hope we can get down this. Here we go. Looking good. Oh, we drifted a little bit, but we're good. We're good. <laughs> oh, on. Correct the nose. Flip it over. Hey, we, made, we landed actually on the return ramp. Whoa. Huh, that did not work out quite the way I wanted it to. Actually, we got, we did get a lot of air, didn't we? All right, so here we are at the next ramp. Now, this is just a straight shot. I should be able to boost the whole way there. As long as I can keep it in, well, there's not really in between the lines. <laughs> but as long as I can keep it off the walls, we'll be pretty good. As you know, a uh, scrap mechanic does have a little bit of a bounce issue with surfaces. Uh, so we'll see what happens here. But let's go ahead and hop in back into the twin mill. We might actually take a couple of the other cars off the ramp. We'll see how this goes here. Ah, this kind of reminds me of the old Hot Wheels games that I used to play. I used to play one on the PC where it was like you're in a living room and you had this set track that you could drive on. Plus, I think you could build custom tracks too. And then I remember the old PlayStation 1 one. And I think the only thing I remember about that is the whole fact that it played Metallica's fuel in it. <laughs> but anyways, let's go ahead. We're going to give this a run here. We are going to boost uh, this time. So let's go one. Let's get our bearings here. Let's go four. Uh oh, a little sideways. All right, we're good. We're good. Oh, oh, we bottomed out there. We might have hit that. Oh, what? Oh, we ended up in a tree. Huh, I went off the ramp a little sideways, didn't I? We bottomed out right when we got to the ramp. Okay, that might need to have a suspension adjustment. Uh, we're going to go ahead and let's line that up and try that again. We might heighten the uh, the front suspension a little bit more to try to give it a little bit more clearance once we hit that ramp because that initial impact was so violent. All right, here we go. We're lined up once again. Uh-oh, a little sideways. All right. Oh, yes. Oh, no. Hey, we landed on it again. Okay, well, we know the backflip thruster works. Now, question is, we looked awfully close to that bridge, did we not? That's scary. Hmm, we might be moving the bridge back a little bit. Either we're going to wind up clearing it, we're going to go under it, or we're going to hit it. I guess that's a part of the danger of a Hot Wheels track, but dang, that was pretty close. <laughs> okay, uh, we're going to run that again. Uh, the, obviously, the backflip thruster works. Uh, we're going to go ahead and not use it and see what kind of distance we get, because I think the backflip thruster actually slowed us from hitting that bridge. All right, we're lined up for another test here. We're just going to hit this straight up this time. No additional thrusters. Oh, <laughs> that is so close. All right, so you got to be a little bit more precise when you leave the ramp. Uh, it is definitely possible. I did make the uh, the return ramp a little wide, and we will continue it, I think. We might make it ramp up. But I didn't hit the bridge there, so that's a good sign. We came close. Uh, with a little bit of adjustment of speed, I think we would hit it, but I think it's actually okay right now. Uh, I think we need to actually move on and maybe test one of the other vehicles on this ramp real quick. I'm actually enjoying this way more than I should be, but I know it's awesome when you can actually do jumps in Scrap Mechanic when you have the proper ramps. A lot of, that, a lot of times these uh, ramps are really hard to get right because they're either too steep or they're not steep enough. If they're too steep, you'll bottom out every time. If they're not steep enough, it's really underwhelming. So, I love that ramp. Alright, let's go grab another one of the vehicles real quick. Oh boy, it's been a while since I've hopped. Oh, I forgot. This one has a custom interior in it. This is uh, off-duty. It's been a while since I've actually played with this one. Let's hop in. Why is there so many buttons in this thing? Oh, there's the engine. Okay. Ooh, I need to put one of the Lord Payne engines in there now. Uh, what does two do? Or three? Oh, uh, oh, this actually used to lift up. You know, I want to say that maybe something's changed bearing-wise, and that's why that's not fully lifting, because it's got a it's got a sound system in the back of it. Uh, we're going to definitely have to work on that. Right, let's just go ahead and close all that up. Uh, let's see, does this feel right thruster-wise? Feels pretty good. Let's go ahead and test out the other buttons real quick. Remember what these exactly do. That is a thruster. That is a upwards. Okay, so that's your uh, lift up the nose, lift up the rear horn. And then, oh, this one has a, a permanent boost switch on it. All right, let's uh, go ahead and line up on that ramp real quick. Oh, boy, we're lined up here. Oh, uh, let's hope this actually works here. Oh, 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 that is too much. Too much power. Too much power. All right, we're going to make it, actually. Oh. Oh. 
Oh, that was almost beautiful. You know, if we wouldn't have... Oh, that's a heck of a way to get stuck. Oh, I forgot. I put neon under this. <laughs> that's pretty cool. That is a heck of a way to get stuck here. You know what? If we wouldn't have actually gotten sideways there, we would have cleared, and I think we would have landed right on this ramp. This might be the perfect vehicle for that ramp. All right, here we go. We're lined up here. Try not to make any corrections. This is looking good, folks. Looking good. There we go. There we go. Deactivate those thrusters. Boom! Landed it. Oh, boy, if I can continue the track from here, this would be actually pretty excellent. Uh, I would need to turn, though. All right, so it's pretty obvious that uh, off-duty can make it, too, which that's a pretty good distance, I would say. So, yeah, I would like to eventually continue this track. I do have this track is pretty modular. I've got all the pieces and ramps on the lift. Uh, the only thing I don't have is turns, and I'm still trying to figure that out in my head. I guess I could get, like, a pixel generator or like a pixel circle generator and try to figure out some angles with turns uh, but I still think it might be a little awkward I'm not really sure would be awesome to be able to get bank turns but with the bearings that that would take would probably lag a whole lot especially once you actually got a vehicle on them so we'll have to probably have flat turns another thing that I would like to do uh, besides the loop uh, I know that's probably down in the comments below I'm not gonna be able to get over this with this truck uh, it's probably, I would like to have a launcher. I know I tested that in one of the early episodes. Uh, it's going to be weird because all the vehicles are a little bit different size. Uh, but maybe if we can figure out a launcher to just get a little bit of extra speed, that would be pretty cool. So, anyways, that is off-duty. Uh, I think we have one more vehicle. We're going to go ahead and test out Bone Shaker uh, and just confirm that all these vehicles actually work on the ramp. Ah, yes, Bone Shaker. I always called this Bone Crusher in the uh, the second episode. I made a lot of people mad by doing that, too. Uh, this was actually a really cool build. Now, this one's uh, pretty simple. You've got some, uh, I think it's your forward thrust here. You've got a, there's your flipping thrust, which is actually a pretty strong one. And then you've got the backwards one back here, which isn't as strong, but there's more weight in the back. And then this one had a feature. When you would drive around, you could hit the five key. And it has pistons. Now, it seems like the piston speed has changed a little bit, and that's probably because of recent updates. But uh, I used to be able to actually kind of launch this thing with the pistons to make it bunny hop. Uh, maybe hop over some uh, rocks and stuff like that. Uh, we'll do some more adjusting. It's just kind of funny how when Scrap Mechanic does updates, especially when you haven't played with the creation for so long, that you notice it's just different, just the way it works. All right, here we go. We're going to go ahead and hit the ramp. This one feels, oh, this one feels a bit, oh, this one's a bit on the, whoa, no. Whoa, Nelly. Okay, this one is definitely on the bouncy side. Wow, that is actually crazy. What does the suspension look like on this? Oh, uh, this is way too soft for this ramp and for this track. Yeah, let me go stiffen up that suspension. It's giving way too much, and it's causing it to rattle and carry off to the sides. And if you hop off the Hot Wheels track, uh, that's not a good thing. So uh, let's go ahead and place this back and uh, do some adjusting here. All right, here we go. Suspension is adjusted. Let's go ahead and get going. Oh, this one is still so bouncy. What the heck? Uh-oh. Uh-oh, that is not pretty. Okay, so that one is definitely going to need some major adjustments. If I recall right, this one handles really good off-road-wise, but apparently track-wise, this thing is not handling like I want it to at all. Uh, we might try some different sets of wheels. We might try, uh, I know wheels don't necessarily mean a lot, but different sizes do. But something is definitely not quite right with Bone Shaker. But yeah, it, as far as hills, it does a really good job here. It does a really good job. Uh, maybe a little bit of a wide turning radius, but other than that, it feels pretty good off-road wise. And it handles bumps like a charm. Huh. We'll have to do some adjusting there. But yeah, anyways, that's going to probably about wrap it up. This is probably going to be a little bit of a shorter episode of Scrap Mechanic. Uh, reason being, we're just kind of testing the waters here, folks. Uh, if this is something you want to see more of, let me know, and I can go ahead and start doing some building. Now, as far as where is Micro City, uh, Micro City is going to be just around the corner. Uh, it's not going to be forgotten. I just kind of wanted to do something a little bit different here in Scrap Mechanic. Since we've been doing a lot of city building as of recent, I kind of wanted to do something with vehicles, maybe some stunts, some jumps. Uh, maybe some more vehicle builds, depending on which uh, Hot Wheels you guys want to see. Uh, I can start working on some of those. So, this is just going to be a little pet project. This might be something where we can actually do some multiplayer in, too, because I think doing some Hot Wheels multiplayer would be absolutely fantastic. I'm still debating. We might move that bridge. I'm not really sure. 
So yeah, I pretty much, like I said, have everything on modular parts, so I will be able to place track wherever I want. The turn thing, if you guys have any suggestions for that, uh, even if it's my Discord members, contact me there. Or if you have uh, just a su suggestion, comment below. Let me know uh, what you think we might be able to do for turns instead of just only using the terrain. So anyways, folks, hopefully you have a great day. If you like to like and subscribe, everything helps my channel. And we will see you guys next time in Scrap Mechanic. Thank you.